So formative question number one, we need to put those numbers in order from greatest to least. So that means I'm going from big to small. My numbers should be going down. I've already got 61, that's a decimal. That's a decimal for me. Two thirds in decimal form. Remember to turn a fraction into a decimal, you need to divide. So I do two divided by three, and that gives me 0 0.6 repeating. Below that, we have 0 0.6. And below that, we have 62%. Remember to turn a percent into a decimal. We put the decimal at the end. We move it to the left to the left. So this becomes 0 0.62. And again, that first number up top was 61. It's <sighs> a lot of sixes in there. It's going to help me. If I, like Mrs. Montero showed us, fill in those extra numbers, fill in those extra place values with zero. When I fill in with zeros, I'm not going to change anything. It's just helping me see my numbers just a little bit easier. This number, however, I don't have zeros at the end. My six is repeating. So I'm going to fill in that space with another six. And from there, we're ready to compare. So I want to look at my numbers to the left of the decimal first. Again, I'm going greatest to least. I want my big numbers to my small numbers. So if I look at the numbers to the left of the decimal, I have 61, 0, 0, and 0. So right off the bat, 61's big compared to those other numbers. So I know that 61 is going to be my greatest, my biggest number. That is my biggest number. Then I go on to my next place value. I'm looking in the tenths right after my decimal point. And again, I'm going from greatest to least. I want to see which one of those numbers is biggest next. I have a six, a six, and a six. They're all the same place value. So I have to move on. I can't stay there. I have to go to my next place value, the hundreds. Again, greatest to least, I want to find the biggest number in this column. I have a six, a zero, and a two. Out of those numbers, what's biggest? That six. So that means that two thirds is going to be my next biggest number. And then I come back to that place value again, because I still have numbers that are there. So again, I think what's bigger, a zero or a two. I know a two is bigger. So that's 62%, meaning my smallest number is 0 0.6. Remember for your final answer, you need to put it in that form. If you give me your answers as 61, 0.6 repeating, 0.62, and uh, 0 0.6, I can't give you full credit for that because that's not the way the numbers were given to you. You have to have this for your final answer.